Welcome to the channel. In this lab, we will learn about launching, resizing, managing, and monitoring an Amazon EC2 instance. Simply start the lab, choose Start Lab, and then click on AWS. Now click on Services, choose Compute, and then choose EC2. Click on Launch Instance. Give instance name as Web Server. Select AMI as Amazon Linux. Let t.micro as default be selected in instance type, t.micro instance type as one virtual CPU and one gigabyte of memory. Now in network setting click on edit and select lab BPC. Go to Firewall Security Groups, choose Create Security Group Give Security Group Name, Web Server Security Group and Description, Security Group for My Web Server and remove the existing inbound rule. Expand Advanced Details, in Termination Protection, select Enable. This setting prevents EC2 instance from being terminated as long as this setting remains enabled. Copy and paste the code and user data at the bottom of the page the script will. Install an Apache web server HTTPD, configure the web server to automatically start on boot, create a simple web page. EC2 instance created. Now to monitor your instance, go to instances details. Choose the status checks tab. This tab helps in determining the problems that might prevent your instances from running application. This tab displays Amazon CloudWatch metrics for your instance. Right-click on Web Server and go to Monitor and Troubleshoot then click on Get System Log. The system log displays the console output of the instance which is valuable for problem diagnosis and troubleshooting. Right-click on Web Server, Monitor and Troubleshoot, Get Instance Screenshot. This shows you what your Amazon EC2 instance console would look like if a screen were attached to it. Now we have learned ways to monitor our instance. Now click on Web Server and go to the Details tab and copy the public IPv for address of your instance. I new tab paste it and press Enter. You are not currently able to access your Web Server because the security group is not permitting inbound traffic on port 80. Let this tab kept open and return to EC to console tab in left pane. Go to security groups. Select the web security groups and choose inbound rules tab and click add rule. The security group currently has no inbound rules so we add a rule for port 80 HTTP to permit HTTP traffic into your Amazon EC2 instance. Now return to the web server tab that you previously opened and refresh the page. Now you will be able to see your web page. Now stop the instance web server before resizing it. After stopping the instance, Right-click on Web Server, select Instance Settings and go to Change Instance Type to T to dot small. Now, to resize the EBS volume, go to Storage tab, click on the checkbox of Volume ID then right-click on Volume ID then select Modify Volume. Increase the disk volume from 8 gigabits to 10 gigabits. We have resized our EC2 instance. Now to explore EC2 limits, search for services quotas. Inside of Services, search for Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud, Amazon EC2 and click on it. Now search for Running On Demand, 
notice the limits which are shown number and types of instances that can run in a region. Go to Instances and terminate the instance. But it fails to terminate. That's because of safeguard to prevent the accidental termination of an instance. To disable this right click on web server and select instance setting. Then go to change termination protection and remove the check next to enable and save it. Now again try to terminate the instance. You will be able to terminate the instance now. Thanks for watching. Comment your suggestions below and do subscribe to our channel and press the bell notifications.